Hello, everyone. this is Kasumi, and we're playing as the boss against Fezzik from The Princess Bride. It's boss time! Here comes Sasha! The following contest you can is an this extreme word? rules match! I don't think Making his way to the ring things? from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 114, Sasha! Corey, I think you discount Sasha Banks. We know the type of fight she has. She's been posting inspiration on social media. Her heart is in it at all times. She posts inspirational quotes because she knows it's going to get her likes and followers because people are simple and basic like that. Well, yeah. He's right. Corey, I don't understand what your issues are with Sasha Banks. She's one of the all-time greats. Dare to talk to her? She's intolerable. Corey's just jealous. He wishes he had half the blade of Sasha. Corey in the house is my favorite animal. But, uh. We got. Oh my lord! And his opponent, Hello? from Grenoble, France, weighing in at 520 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world! years but help put your seven foot four and 500 pounds now when you are Andre the Giant you do whatever you want whenever you want he's my absolute favorite of classic wrestlers the fact that he managed to do all the stuff despite his physical limitations was amazing Seven four, five hundred twenty pounds. There is no one like Andre. Nowadays, the closest we have is Big Show, but he actually got surgery to repair his gigantism. Here we go, guys. And his top draw. Extreme drove. rules action coming up. Andre never did. And it's Andre the Giant getting out of that one. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Go away. Alexandra. I mean, she's Sasha not Alexandra, Banks but... That attack and hit back even harder. No, Boom. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. While Sasha Banks gets the reversal. Frankensteiner. Nicely done. He fell down too easy and too fast. That she's the boss. WrestleMania 3? Wanna reiterate? Byron, you were a witness to the rise of the four horsewomen in NXT. In your opinion, Yay. which one of them was the most dangerous? Oh, that's a tough one, but I Oh, nothing special. She just body slammed under the giant and did a Hogan leg drop in the end because. That's the point, right? Hogan body slam. Hogan leg drop. We only need big boots to uh, perform the whole repertoire of all moves Hulk Hogan ever used. Uh, he actually used much more moves in Japan, but... So did Sasha, she used much more moves in her indie years. I would have to lean towards Sasha Banks. She was devious and ruthless in and out of the ring. Throwing her all now the way across the ring. Giant on the attack. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. Oh my, down with authority. Referee in position. Yeah, it's a He's street fight, full pass anywhere. Sasha Banks' ruthless nature that Byron alluded to has become a thing of the past. Banks has found a way to remain aggressive without resorting to bad sportsmanship. And I'm sick and tired of it. Sasha Banks was heartless in NXT. She stole a headband from Bailey's biggest fan and made her cry. That's the boss I'll always love and remember. <laughs> okay. Popped up. Meteora. Andre the Giant on some offense now. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. 
Sasha Banks looking for approval like she always does. Oh, from behind. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Boy. Bam. Down he goes. It looks like Sasha Banks is setting a very good pace now. And let's just hope Banks has enough stamina to pull through. Can we even use submissions here? Oh, shows no mercy. In the oh my. Chair. It looks like a twisted heat. And he continues to use the chair. Quick cover from Andre the Giant. Gets the shoulder up. Hey, I guess you never know. I've got to say, the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. Okay, we can use submissions. The charts. Apparently, a change in plans here. Looks very inappropriate. He seemed to have him right where he wanted him. Hammerlock. Mm. Uh -oh. Ricky Zons. Tear your hamstring. Now oh, striking blow. In 1993, a touching video tribute on the career of Andre the Giant aired across all of WWE television programs. That footage was the way WWE announced the creation of its Hall of Fame. And his first inductee was none other than the eighth wonder of the world. Tell Looks like he has other plans here. What? Ric Flair? What is he doing here? Oh my God! That's a young well, version of Flair. Nature boy. One of his most beloved figures would be the first to be inducted. There's no one in our business like Andre the Giant. Talk about a giant announcement! What a way to let the world know that there will be a WWE Hall of Fame. There's no better way than to make the eighth wonder of the world your first. Sasha Banks is in control again. Hey, it seems to be working for him. Definitely made an impact there. Yeah, but in the long run, these things can certainly come back to haunt you. The destruction of Sasha Banks. Banks. Looking to steal one there, perhaps. Uh -uh. Real quick reminder, guys, there are no disqualifications and no count-outs in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. Bear hug. Ah, oh, bear hug. Look at the... Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Okay. Uh, I think the model of Andre the Giant looks bad here. It looks too cartoonish. I think in like older games he had better model. I may be mistaken that it's the same model, just different lighting makes it look weird. I don't know. This is a nice versus picture, Mortal Kombat style. Was Mortal Kombat the first game that popularized those versus screens? I mean, they were everywhere later. Uh, the great thing in Mortal Kombat 1 was that you had like renders characters on both sides instead of just portraits. I think Street Fighter had portraits before Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah. close one! Bum, bum. Yeah. Andre actually has a stink face in his moveset as well. Not in the default. He has hip uh, attack, though, because he regularly used that. Specifically, one of the hip attacks in the corner is literally just the animation of Andreas' movement. They added like a single DLC move to him too, and that would be... 
A rare headbutt too. Where he locks both arms and headbutts into the uh, between the shoulder blades. It's an interesting move in the regard that there are very little heavy back strikes in this game. So adding one more was very welcome, especially for such a popular character. And like the games, these games, they're, they're fantasy and one of the main uh, features of these games that we cannot have like in reality. The ability to create dream matches and several people had a dream match between Andre and Sasha. I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. But it's okay. A face. Stop it. We should I should play him against Big Show. Sasha Banks is looking fit and legit. You've been waiting for that all day. I have. And it's Andre the Giant getting out of that one. One overhand shot. Across the small of the back. Sasha Banks' legs are collapsing on her. She could falter at any moment. The boss is exhausted. He'll think twice before entering another Extreme Rules match. Boss time may be over soon. Sasha continues to suffer. Finally. These actual moves that he used a lot uh, were some double underhook moves. Like the pedigree Sasha and Banks, out of the way there. Uh, butterfly Boom, suplex. You wouldn't see that in later matches like with Hogan and stuff. Uh, because Andre's body kept growing. Uh -oh, he was in a huge broke. pain and he could oh, not man. really move man. all that much in his later years. He died young, like at 46 I think. And by that point, less like well, five, six years, he really could barely thing, move. But the crowd is loving Sasha's act. They had to use a stun double in uh, Princess Bride for back elbow smash. Nothing fancy. Boom! What a kick! And listen to this place. It's deafening in here, Michael. Boom! Good night. The AI keeps spamming this move right for some reason. The small the back. He's gonna be feeling this one for a while. This is not This is the Look move that he has in the arcade Rage game, WrestleFest. There, but he's still in a tough spot, Cole. I think I added Benzai drop to him. He used uh, uh, and when you're as big as Andre the Giant, you do when you want. When you want. A surprise in reverse. Not in the corner. Uh oh, go for the ride. Choke slam. The good thing about fall counts anywhere matches is that AI actually uses finishers. Outside the ring, for some reason it's like I think they tried to make it more effective and broke it in the process because in 2K19, remember AI being competent and it used finishers outside a lot, even sometimes to the detriment because uh, they tried later to Irish whip you in the ring and pin you, and you could easily reverse the Irish whip. So next time they pinned you the uh, last move would be not the finisher, so the pin would be weaker. And... Uh, so that's like how it goes. Uh, but here they just do not use them, unless it's full content. Oh this could do it! Oh my, still alive! He still alive!
Sasha Banks dodged out of the way there. Hangman's neck break. Oh, gosh. The WWE Universe has come alive in this one. They are up and they are vocal. A lot of energy in the room. Okay. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Down in a hurry. And what a right. job by Andre the Giant to take advantage. He makes it look easy. Andre the Giant knows how to polish off an opponent. What a match. What a match. Not a good place to rest. No, oh, not at all. Who's resting? Oh, and he slammed his face right into the barricade. They should have done Rock as a weapon for Andre the Giant in some arcade game because of Fezzik, you know, oh, his character in Princess Bride. Smack talk. If you haven't watched The Princess Bride, uh, you should. It's an absolute cult, cult classic. The main trio of Kerry Elvis, uh, Mandy Patinkin, and Andre the Giant are absolute perfect heroes. Oh my! Wow, Andre the Giant just tied that perfectly. This looks great. Especially when it looked like. Uh, like he did it in one move. Those two moves fit amazingly well with each other. That's why I love in these games when moves get for combinations, lifting her, and then keeps lifting her and throwing with a hip toss. By itself, the hip toss is n not very fun move. Hip toss from the ropes is the most generic thing possible. Sasha Banks avoids major damage there. She got lucky. One overhand shot. Oof. Caught him in the three count right there. This guy just refuses to quit. Uh, How did and he do that? I think one of the default uh, finishers for Andrea is an elbow drop. Elbow drop that's spinning. And I usually hate finishers being not flashy. But in this particular case it's great because it's a finisher, as in you're using it after you've beaten them up just for a, a pin. The amazing things uh like Look up Andre the Giant top rope online because he went more to the top rope than, say, Hulk Hogan. Which is weird, amazing, and insane. He didn't just go there to have fun. He had, like, a diving finisher, and it wasn't a Banzai drop. He used a huge body splash. And it was kind of regular for uh, his fights with, what's his name? I forgot. And he had a rivalry with a huge guy who was, uh, who looked tiny next to Andre. And Does he have him here? I don't know how he keeps kicking and he out. used wow. the goddamn Sasha top rope diving frog splash to finish off. Look at Andre the Giant. Sasha Banks is scaling the... Look at this! And it's Andre the Giant getting out of that one. So I gave him top rope diver in the game. Oh, the and there's the reversal from Sasha Banks. Oh man, that's a nasty gash on Andre she the Giant. She grabbed him! 
I'm pretty sure that's just Ric Flair hiding in the corner with a razor blade. I love it when Sasha starts playing with people. What a tease. And the instinct from the Giant on display. Like a brick wall running into you. Look at Andre the Giant. Oh my God. Super sized elbow drop. Two. Andre God damn it. See, this is, it looks anticlimactic as a finisher. If you use it separately, it would be much better if it could be used like after some a bunch of power moves but ai doesn't know i gave him mark henry's world strongest splash as an alternate finisher but again ai doesn't like it here is your winner the a wonder of the performance by Sasha Banks tonight. You can't fight like that and expect to win. Come on, Corey, it wasn't that bad. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I did an amazing contest.